Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you today in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a day this is. I tell you each and every day that this new day that we have, this is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing and you are glad in it. God has something special for you, and I'm praying that you will be encouraged today in what God has for you. We're praying through the book of Ephesians, which is filled with so much encouragement for the believer. Each and every day, we read a passage of scripture that speaks to the power of God's word to encourage his people. And today is day number 15. As we're reading through the book of Ephesians, we're in chapter one and verse number 18. Ephesians chapter one and verse 18. As we read God's word from the New Living Translation, here's what the word of God says. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are rich, excuse me, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. Amen. Today, we're going to pray um, that we will understand as God's children, the confident hope that he has given to each and every one of us. Amen. Come on, let's pray to the Lord today. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. Lord, we love you today and we lift our hearts to you today. We lift our minds to you today. God, we lift our souls to you today and we we just adore you, God. We we extol you, God. We, we exalt you. We lift you up and magnify your name. Lord, we, if we had 10,000 tongues, would not have enough tongues to give you the praise that you so richly deserve. But God, we will not let the rocks cry out for us. We will glorify your name with the fruit of our lips, God. We bless you and praise you this day. And God, we pray that you are pleased with our praise. Lord, we admit and acknowledge that you are God and you are God all by yourself. You are high and lifted up, God. You are in control. You are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. And Lord, even as we acknowledge you, God, we recognize that you are holy. And we cry out as the angels cry out in heaven today. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. God, we thank you and bless you for being holy, God, today. And we know, God, that in your presence, there is fullness of joy. So we thank you for helping us to joy. And again, we rejoice in your name. God, we recognize that in your presence, not only is there joy, but we are called to be holy in your presence. We recognize, God, that we've fallen short of your glory. We've sinned. We've missed the mark and crossed the line. So, Lord God, today we plead the blood of Jesus over our life and our lifestyles. We thank you for the forgiveness of sin. and We plead the blood that it will cover us today. Thank you for Jesus' sacrifice on Calvary's cross and the blood that was shed for the remission and the forgiveness of our sin. God, we thank you not only for the forgiveness of sin, but we thank you for filling us with your Holy Spirit. And we thank you for encouraging us in the word of God. God, we thank you for the book of Ephesians that is filled with so much power and so much encouragement, God. We thank you for the encouragement we've already received. We pray now, Lord God, today that you once again would flood our hearts with the light of your word and the light of your countenance. And Lord God, as you flood our hearts, we pray that we would understand the confident hope that you have given to us. Lord, we know that there are Many people in today's world that live in darkness, that are dealing with discouragement and, and, and depression, Lord, and even demonic oppression. But God, we thank you for the confident hope that you have given to us, your children, us, the believers, in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. Lord, the circumstances may change. We may go through difficulty. God, we may go through trials and troubles and tribulations. But God, in you, we still have a confident hope. God, our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. So, Lord God, we thank you for hope today. We thank you that we have a future, Lord, and you have plans for us, and you have a purpose for us. Help us to know, God, that plan today. Help us to know that purpose today. Help us to know the confident hope that you have given to us. Lord, I'm praying for somebody that's on the verge of getting ready to quit and getting ready to give up and getting ready to give in and give out. God, I pray you would remind them today, you would encourage them today that they have a confident hope in you, that their hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I pray, Lord God, they would look beyond their circumstances. They would look beyond their situation. They would look beyond their problems, Lord, and see that you have overcome sin and you have overcome death and hell. And yes, even the grave, God. And because of you, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loves us. So I encourage that mother today that is trying to make it, that single mother that is trying to help her family to get through a trial. God, I pray you would give her hope today. I pray for that father, Lord, that is trying to lead his family and his children. I pray you would give him hope today. I pray for that child, Lord, that is on the school bus, that is going to school and dealing with difficulty in the classroom, difficulty in the in the cafeteria, Lord, difficulty on the playground, difficulty in their mind and in their will and in their emotions. God, I pray you would give them a confident hope. I pray for leaders and teachers and preachers and pastors and community leaders and business executives and lawyers and doctors and nurses and, and construction workers, those that work in community, those that work in nonprofit organizations. God, I pray you would give them hope, Lord, in the face of their difficult trials and their difficult circumstances. God, you have given us a confident hope in you. And I pray, Lord, through the word of God today, again, you would flood our hearts with the light of Jesus Christ. For you said that your, the entrance of your presence brings light. So, Lord, give us hope for the end of the thing that we're facing, Lord, that you would help us to be victorious over every situation and circumstance. And we believe victory in the life of your people. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to go in the confident hope that God has given to each and every one of us today, according to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18 from the New Living Translation. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. Be encouraged today. We're going to be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Please, if you would, subscribe to the channel. That way you can get the notifications and you can share the channel with your family and friends. You know someone today that needs to be encouraged. You know someone today that needs to be lifted up. So share the channel with them so we can pray with them and pray for them. And then hit the notification button so you can get those notifications every day when these daily prayers come out. What a privilege it is to be able to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. I'll be back to pray with you tomorrow. Be encouraged. God bless.